Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can actually get the adjusted residuals in our base and also how you can perhaps use them as a post-hoc analysis from a chi-square test. Uh, I'll be using an example file that I stored on my computer and I'm going to be storing that as my data and as using as a separator semicolon and I'm accounting for some missing values. So let me load that in by pressing Ctrl Enter and just to show you what's in that data file there's gender and marital and that's about it so to create a table of the two variables I'm using the my table command and to actually uh, get the residuals it's uh, performing a chi-square test in itself like this I discussed this slightly more details in another video and as an output it has the standardized residuals which are actually adjusted so if I now load this up, I can see in the results the adjusted standardized re uh, residuals. Now, if you want to use this for significance testing, you might want to set a significance level, uh, in my case 0.05, and then actually adjust it because we're multiple testing, so often the Bonferroni method is then used which uses the number of rows multiplied by the number of columns which is the number of tests that will actually be uh, doing in this case 10 and then simply divide the significance level by that so let me load that in and in this case of course because it's 2 times 5 equals 10 this one gets simply divided by 10 and becomes 0 0.005 now to see if any of these meet that criteria we need to perform an inverse normal distribution standard normal so the critical value would be 2.81 if you will uh, or below minus uh, 2.81 so anything below this value or above the positive version would be significant and if we look at this uh, table of those residuals, that's only the case with uh, these two. Here it's uh, positive, here it's negative. So here we have um, more than expected, and here we have less than expected. So females are significantly uh, more at widowed than expected, and males are significantly less than expected. And, and that's a basic postdoc analysis for your chi-square test.